So welcome to um, ZP. So what we're showing here is, um, even though ZP is, um, I want to say synonymous for sensors, and we do have a little sensor um, here, um, and I know you're just coming in on the shot here, so there's a sensor here, so when I say the word sensor, what I'm referring to is something like this. It's hard for you to see, but there's actually a sensor also on this rig. Now what this rig is demonstrating is that ZP, uh, we can sense things often in the liquid phase, but in fact, we can have samples, and obviously like any good engineering company, we know how to um, pull that sample out of the reservoir, we know how to flow it over to the sensor, and there is a sensor in a flow stream here. And if you were watching the fluidics here, you'd actually understand that it was going over the flow stream and actually going to waste. So what this little um, setup shows you is, we have a sensor, we're able to pull from a liquid reservoir, we go over the sensor and we go to waste and we have a couple of pumps that are able to provide vacuum and pressure. We also have electronics here. And then what's really elegant is, I have a phone that's actually in Bluetooth connection with this, um, with this electronics here at the moment. The electronics are driving the sensor. Um, the app is what tells the, essentially what the electronics to do. And the data, we have a proprietary system called Julie and the data then actually goes up to the cloud. So in summary, this is a, um, I wanna say liquid handler, but it's a liquid um, sampler, able to pull from a liquid reservoir, put the sample over a sensor, send the sample to waste. It could be returned to the reservoir if you so wish. It does it by a couple of um, simple pumps. We've got the sensor in line, we've got the electronics. We actually have Bluetooth connectivity to that, and we have a cloud system, so we get local data, and the data is currently stored in the cloud as well. If you have any questions, reach out to us at ZP. Thank you very much.